Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily and I do handbag reviews, unboxings, comparisons, and uh, I share a little bit of fashion here and there. Today I have an updated review for you. I have been wearing these shoes for the time that I've been here in Australia and I thought I'd just give you an update. I never did an unboxing but I've been using this so much that I'd kind of update you and tell you about this pair of shoe that I've been loving and using. So the flats that I'm referring to today are the ones from Rothy's. This, or Rothy's. This is actually a pair of shoes that I've had for almost a year now and I've brought it many times to vacations, destinations, and I've also used it at home on and off. And it's a great pair of flats for vacation because of how lightweight it is and also because it is washable. So if you follow me on Instagram, you might have already seen this pair of shoes in many of my photos. If you do not follow me currently, you can visit me here at clutch to carry all I have a lot of my outfit photos and travel photos over there, so give it a look if you're interested. But this pair of shoe is very unique in that it is washable, but it still looks like your flats. It is made from recycled materials, I think uh, water bottles, plastic, and they weave it into this shape. And what that means is there is no waste. So unlike a piece of fabric that you cut out the shape of the shoe, this one you don't cut out. This one, it is. this is the shape that it was made in, so there's no waste there. And I bought this one in the flats, the pointed flats, but they also come in the round toe flats. They also come in, I think, something called a loafer, which is what I want. And then they also have a sneaker. And they come in many different colors, many different designs. They all, always are coming up with new style, or not styles, designs. So there are a few that I have my eyes on, but I haven't actually jumped to yet. This one I got in a darker color because I think even though it's washable, I am not going to wash it every day. So if it gets dirty, I want it to be able to withstand that. The bottom of the shoe is a rubber material. So it does provide a lot of support and also padding. It doesn't feel padded, but I mean, I don't know. It, it never felt like my foot was getting tired from hitting the ground. I've walked a lot in this pair of shoe because it just goes with so many of my outfits. I purposely got it in a pointed toe flat because it is more stylish, more dressed up versus a round toe flat or a, a pair of sneakers. And that allows me to wear this with shorts, long pants, jeans, dresses. I don't see myself being able to wear many dresses with a pair of sneaker version of this. So that's another reason. And I, I believe Meghan Markle actually has a pair of this. It's not why I got it, but it just, it just shows how versatile and how dressed up you can get using one of these. I would definitely go with a darker color. The way I see it is dressed up things look dressed up because of either the cut and the fit of it or the material. Now this material doesn't look very dressy as you can see, but if it's dark it kind of masks the fabric material. Okay, so those are all my pros for this pair of shoes and you might have seen that I also wear my Everlane leather flats a lot. and. The, I guess I should touch on how they compare because I do really like my Everlane leather flats. Now of course the Everlane leather flats are way more dressy because they are leather and they do go with a lot more of my vibe because you know I like to, <laughs> I like kind of like a girly vibe laid back but also you know I still like to be dressed up a lot of the times and so that one allows me to do that whereas this one doesn't but this one does allow me to walk a lot in and then be able to wash it. So the leather flats are like I said more fancy whereas these ones I would probably wear if I feel like I'm gonna need to walk through dirt or something that could be wet or something like that if that makes sense because for leather flats I cannot wash it and I also don't want to get it wet. I do spray it with a waterproof spray but I don't, I can't wash it and because this one's washable if it gets wet I just need to let it dry. So those are the, the comparisons. If you ask me which one would I rather get, it's hard to say. Uh, I think it depends on where I am going or what I'm doing that day. 
or my outfits, I guess. So I would say both. But in this particular case, I brought this one with me to Australia because I have my my Everlane Day heels with me. So I, I didn't want two similar looking shoe, so I, that's why I went for these ones. But if I know I'm in an area where it's generally pretty dry, um, I probably would have brought my Everlane leather flats just because I think those are more dressy and could be dressed down, whereas these ones are more dressed down, but they could take the rain. So those are the pros and, and those are the comparisons. And now I'm going to get into the con. Now there's not many cons to this pair of shoes because this one is, like I said, quite versatile, quite easy to manage, and it's fairly comfortable for the most part. But one thing I do have to point out is that it does start to smell. Now, like I said, I've had this for about a year now and I've used it on and off at home and then when I bring it on vacation or travel, I generally, if I bring it, I probably wear it a lot more than every, you know, every so often. I probably wear it almost every day, depending on what else I bring with me. But I haven't had an issue until recently where this started to smell. I don't know if it is a matter of the weather here because it is, it, it has rained a few times and everything, but I don't know, like it hasn't had this problem, but I noticed maybe like a couple weeks ago after wearing it, my feet did smell. And so what, what it is, is that there is this liner portion and this liner is removable, but it's not washed. They say you cannot wash this. This is the part that you can wash. And so this is the part that I think is starting to smell. And I'm not sure why, but I do know that they sell this on their website. You can buy liners to insert new ones in your shoe and they sell those. So it must be a thing, right? It must be something that they anticipate you needing to replace. And I think it's probably because it's starting to smell. But I also want to point out that I've worn many flats without socks or liners or anything like that and I do not have a, a sweaty feet. I don't I don't have sweaty feet. I don't have smelly feet. I never had this problem. And even like if I were to wear running shoes with socks, I could probably wear those socks a few t a few days before needing to wash it and it never ends up smelling if that makes sense. So I, I do not have a sweaty foot or one that would um, smell. And so I was surprised because this is one of the first times in my life that I noticed, hey, this kind of smells funny. So I'm not sure what about this shoe that makes it that way, but if, if you have a problem with sweaty feet or more smelly feet, I would probably um, caution you, I guess, for that reason. It is, it isn't, it is breathable. But for some reason, it holds on to the sweat maybe more because I never had this pl this problem with my Everlane leather flats. The leather flats, as you can imagine, are probably less breathable than this. But I've never had a smelly feet situation with those, so I just wanted to point that out. And a disclaimer: everybody's foot is a little different, so the fit, the the, the smell that I'm referring to may not happen to you. But I just wanted to share my experience with it as like. A precaution in case that that's something you wanted to know about. Um, what else? Besides besides the, the smell part of it, I think there's not really any any more cons and that con can actually be simply you know rectified if you just got new liners. I've been wiping these down after using it ever since I noticed the, the smell. I've been wiping these down with a wipe a wet wipe and it seems to have helped and I also keep it stored outside of the shoe after wearing it like this um, just so that it could breathe but like I said if you just bought their, a new liner then this will probably be solved I did not know that when I bought this so I don't have a liner and I'm also not in the states right now so I don't have access to a liner um, so I wanted to let you know in case when you do buy if you do plan to buy one of these shoes you will probably buy an extra one of these liners so that you can replace it when the time comes. I don't think that that's very saving because if, if their company is all about saving, this seems to be a waste, but I suppose it is still better than throwing the entire shoe away. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to point that out. I, I think I will 
despite this con, like I said, because it's such a minor thing, I feel I would still go ahead and get their loafers in a different color because I have been eyeing that, like I said. So that that doesn't deter me from buying another pair. But I, like I said, that is something I would probably consider the next time I buy a pair to buy an extra liner just so that I can replace it if that time ever comes. Also, if I buy a pair of loafers, I think I could wear liner socks because it would be more covered and I my socks wouldn't show or, you know, etc. Oh, and another thing I want to point out is that these ones I actually got in a size 6.5. I usually wear a size 6. I wear size 6s in most things. But this one, I when I bought the size 6, it was too tight maybe because of the point. So I had to switch it up to a size 6.5. So, I... I just want to point that out there. Again, disclaimer, everybody's foot's a little different, but they do have an amazing return policy if it doesn't fit, so you can easily, you know, get a different size if that ended up not working for you the first time. So in terms of comfort, I would say very comfortable, very breathable, but like, like I said, if I had to pick one flat, the, you know, between the Everlane, for example, and the Rothy's, I probably still go with the Everlane's just because it's more my style and it does. I don't have that smell problem. But if I had access to a new liner here, I probably would just change it and then this wouldn't be a problem. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions that I have not answered here, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Oh, I also have a referral code if you want to get I think it's $20 off of your first purchase. Feel free to use that code to save some money. That always helps. Um, yeah, so then I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!